Welcome to the Assembly of Kingdom Executors. You can kindly turn to the person seated closest to you and tell that person, Welcome to the Assembly of Kingdom Executors. You are, you are an executor in the kingdom. Tell another person, God depends on you to get things done here. Hallelujah. I must first of all confess, until last Sunday as I was walking down here, I've never used the word, I'm not sure I've heard it, I've heard of executioners, but I've never used the word executors. I've never seen it before. As I walked down here on Sunday, I heard you will talk next week and you will tell them, they are, they are my ambassadors, but I see them also as my executors. Ambassadors as executors. So the whole week I've literally been studying and testing out. When you find out a truth of the kingdom, I apply it on my knees to see, does this, how fast can this work? It's been a, a week of experiment for me. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Say, behold, let's read it together. Nothing shall in any way harm you. Behold, I have made you an executor in my kingdom. And as you go about with this authority, nothing shall in any way harm you. My own Amplified says, listen carefully. I liked that line because it's, it's someone calling your attention. Listen carefully. I have given you authority that you now possess is not something in the future to trade on serpents and scorpions and the ability i've also given you the ability to exercise that authority over all the power of the enemy and nothing will in any way harm you it takes the man who has been redeemed and restored to function as a kingdom and ambassador we became citizens of the kingdom through the finished work of the cross, which is what we are celebrating this season. But we operate and function as effective ambassadors by the power of the throne. Now, the cross brought us near, reconciling us back to God. But it is the throne that sends you and I out, commissioning us to represent Christ. This assignment, we've been talking about being ambassadors, understanding our, our calling as ambassadors for Christ. These ambassadorial assignments that we have been assigned, I need you to walk away from church today and understand that it has the full backing of the throne. You and I have been granted both authority and power to act on behalf of the government of heaven. We have authority to act on behalf of God. We have authority to speak on behalf of God. We have authority to represent him to the world. We are ambassadors of Christ. I'm giving a background out. So we are called to execute the Father's will and we execute by speaking. So when in that scripture, please keep the scripture on the screen. Jesus said, listen carefully. I have given you authority to trade on serpents and scorpions. He's bringing you back to, he's calling your attention from whatever is distracting you and say, listen. You are the one in charge. The devil is no longer in charge. The moment Jesus rose from the dead, that changed. You and I are now the ones in charge. And we are ambassadors. He says, I, you are my executor. I have called you to execute my will. So it is now our responsibility to take hold of the power of God and direct it against the strategic advances of the enemy. So by all means, speak. Because we are speaking beings. We are beings of dominion. Dominion is on our tongue. 
It is the will of God that none should perish. It is the will of God that you shouldn't be barren. It is the will of God that things should not be the way things are around us. But if you don't speak, like I keep on saying, you will take things from the devil that God has not given you. And you'll go back and blame God. This morning, I've been asked to inform you, to, add, to, to remind us that it is God's will that we operate in authority. And he has given us authority. So what's the will of the Father concerning that situation that is keeping you down? Do you know the will of the Father concerning your neighborhood, concerning your business, concerning your academics, concerning your finances? Have you sorted out? Because until you know what God's will is, you will not have, you will not know what to execute. And as executors, we have a one, one responsibility, and that is enforcing the victory Christ that had acquired for us on the cross. So if you do not know the will of God concerning that thing you are crying, a million buckets of tears is not going to change it. If you do not know how and what God says concerning your city, it will be in the hands of serpents and scorpions and we will be receiving what they have to give us, venom, stings. So what is it that God is saying concerning that situation you are grappling with? Have you found out? God desires to see us lead and live victorious lives. It is the will of the Father that you not only enjoy physical health, but you have soul prosperity. And it is the will of the Father that you don't stop there. You become healing to the nation. He's healing to the nation. That when you show up before a sick person, you bring health. I don't know whether you heard that part. It is the will of the Father that you are not only fruitful, but you become his solution to the problem of barrenness. That's what it means to be a kingdom executor. It is the will of the Father that none should perish. That's why he called you and sent you out to become his ambassador, to reconcile men to himself. God has appointed you. God has appointed me as his executors on earth. When you show up, God shows up. If you, when you talk, God talks. That means when you shut up, God shuts up. I don't think you heard that part. When you stand, God stands. When you get into a situation, God gets into that situation. When you keep quiet, heaven is quiet. Because all authority has been given to you. To trample upon serpents and scorpions and all, not some. Serpents, scorpions, the enemy, Satan. That summarizes the origin of all the problems we can ever think of in this life. And God says, I have given you authority. You are my solution to whatever the devil can think of. You are my solution to whatever trouble the devil can drum up. Today, God is, is, is reminding us to go back to that place. That Jesus had, ex, had secured an extraordinary victory for us on the cross. He, we have victory over sin. We have victory over death. We have victory over poverty. Victory over illness. Victory over demons. Victory over darkness. If you do not enforce it, if you do not take the will of God and execute it on earth, you are going to live under the things that Christ had raised to above. His foot back power in your hands. You have the authority to execute the Father's will. You have the responsibility of putting into effect what God desires to be done. Your sole task is enforcing this victory that Christ has wrought that we are celebrating in a time like this. You have the power to enforce the will of God. If you forget everything that I've said today, don't forget that I said you have powers to exact obedience from principalities and powers you have powers to determine your authority to determine destinies to command situations and to decide what happens in and around you so that situation you are grappling with what is the will of the father concerning it because when you know what god's will is concerning that very issue whether it's a family issue a city-wide issue a state issue or a national issue you will be able to enforce it i had said last week i take over time it wasn't on my notes i just heard myself say it and i understand god is calling us to the place of might it's time to take over your neighborhood from town go that way go that way it's not going to clear it up 
you have authority and you are demanded to execute by speaking. That's why you are called a king priest. I have been sent to remind you that you have authority. Your assignment this week is simple and straightforward. I don't know how many people did our assignment last week. How many people intentionally prayed for their streets last week? If you did not, you have carryover. Add this one to that one. Because until you have taken over that environment, spiritually, if you like, go from house to house. If you like, feed the whole neighborhood. Nobody is going to follow your God. So intentionally take that issue you are grappling with and take it to God. Ask God, what is your will concerning this? When you have found that will, whether it's spoken to you or it is, you are led to it in the word of God, in the scriptures, pray until you see it become flesh. Speak until it happens. Decree until it stands. Because until you do so, the enemy will still have take illegitimate authority and run around. Say, remind them this morning that I have given them victory and authority to execute my judgment on serpents and scorpions and to enforce my victory over all the power of the enemy. And they should not worry about getting hurt because no harm will come to, to them. Had to write it down. That's what came to me while I was preparing. God has given you authority. You are the solution to all the trouble that the devil can come up with. So see to it that his will is done, not just in your life, but in and around you. Please may we rise and affirm the word of God together. You are a kingdom executor. Christ died so that you and I can stand in authority and take territories for him. So say with me, I have authority. Say it like you are talking about yourself. I have authority. Put your name and say, I, Inyene Patrick Grace, I have authority. Say, I am a kingdom executor. I am an unfolding wonder in my world. I am invested with divine power and authority to execute the Father's will. I am the product of the cross and a servant of the throne. I am seated in Christ far above all rule and dominion. I am protected from every assault of the enemy. Say, I am an ambassador for Christ. I am an enforcer of the will of the Father. I have been called to display the excellency of God. I am God's healing vision to the nations. I am God's deliverance plan to the oppressed. I am everything Christ is for as he is, so am I in this world. I am an ambassador of Christ. I represent the government of God here. I am the voice of heaven on the earth. I'm the visible expression of the invisible God. When men see me, they see Christ. I am joined to the heir of all things. All things are mine. I am an ambassador of the anointed one. I am the solution to every trouble the devil can come up with. I am the revelation of divinity in my generation. I carry the message of the Christ to my sphere. God speaks through my lips and reaches the world through my hands. I am a living showcase of the majesty of God. I am a kingdom executor. I am God's official envoy on the earth. I enforce the will of God in my home. I enforce the will of God in my city. I enforce the will of God in my nation. Only the will of God is done in and around me. 
Open your mouth and begin to enforce the will of God in that situation. Enforce the will of God in your neighborhood. Enforce the will of God in your city. Enforce the will of God in your home. Enforce the will of God in your school. You cannot hand over the government of your environment, of your city, of your nation to serpents and scorpions. You are a being of authority. You have authority over the devil. Say, I am a God's authorized representative. I refuse to hand over the authority of my environment to serpents and scorpions. I am who God says I am. All things are under my feet. I take back my city. I take back my home. I take back my country. I take back my neighborhood. I take back my nation. I am a kingdom executor. All things are mine. All powers answer to me as they do to God. For when I show up, Christ shows up. When I speak, Christ is heard. When I stand, Christ stands. I am who God says I am. I have authority. I have authority. I am trampling on serpents and scorpions. I am ruling over the forces of the enemy. The enemy's forces cannot reach me. I am above the assault of the enemy. Open your mouth and begin to speak. Let's say thank you, Jesus, for making me who you have made me to be. Thank you for your authority. Thank you for giving me authority.